Hello friends. Around the world, the rise of millions of invasive monkeys is causing increasingly serious problems for people in cities. What are the effective countermeasures to control the monkey population in areas invaded by them? Join me to find out in the following video what's different about each city area. The Thai city was once a thriving center attracting tourists to see wild monkeys, but now 3,500 invasive monkeys have attacked and robbed tourists. There is one main reason that makes you unexpected the actions of tourists and locals feeding monkeys have led to their rapid reproduction. According to Sudipong Kamtaptam from the National Park Service, foods are sweets, carbonated drinks and cereals, sugary foods that are known to make monkeys excited and stimulate the monkey to give birth. Produce more. To try to control the rapidly growing monkey population, authorities have placed large cages around the city with attractive fruits in them, hoping to attract about 300 monkeys to be sterilized. From the capture cage, the monkeys were transferred to the operating table where they were anesthetized, shaved, and tattooed with a unique reference number under their arms. They lie on their backs under a green sheet as veterinarians perform a vasectomy or tubal ligation. Sleeping monkeys have a night to recover before being returned to their wild habitat. The government aims to sterilize 500 monkeys in two months. They say sterilization will pose no threat to the monkey population and is only intended to slow their growth in urban areas. The question is whether sterilization is the most effective way to deal with it. Neutering helps reduce the number of monkeys breeding in the future, but its effectiveness in controlling invasive monkeys is currently limited. Instead, monkey trapping is a more effective method of controlling monkeys. Control the number of monkeys. First, I will guide you through the mechanism of action of this type of iron cage trap. Installing and using iron cage traps to catch monkeys requires an understanding of the operating mechanism and basic skills. This trap usually comes with two iron bars or metal hooks, one to lock the back door of the cage and the longer bar to actuate the door. The mechanism of the trap is that when a monkey enters, the door system will be activated and trap them inside. This type of trap is capable of catching a monkey. Compared to traps with larger areas, this iron cage trap is often designed to catch monkeys in small numbers, suitable for narrow areas or areas with high population density. In many countries, with the number of invasive monkeys increasing, the use of small iron cage traps like the above is not appropriate. Instead, use a large iron cage trap that can trap 10 to 15 fish, usually placed in areas where they commonly occur, such as near forest areas or near water sources. This type of iron cage trap is often placed with attractive food for monkeys, especially bananas and nuts. Each time it operates, this type of trap can catch many monkeys because the trap's operating mechanism works effectively, making it impossible for trapped monkeys to find a way out. This type of trap is most commonly used in countries where many monkey species live such as India, Thailand or African countries. When the trap's operating mechanism is activated, the iron cage will collapse, capturing the monkey inside. The intruding monkey became chaotic and panicked when caught in the trap. Is this trap durable and effective enough for long-term use? 
And will it cause any damage to the monkey? The above traps are used to deal with invasive monkeys in the city. However, such response in urban areas is still ineffective. Farmers continue to set traps in areas away from the cities where monkeys hide. The farmer built a clever net trap from wooden stakes and netting. This trap has an upward-facing door and a downward and slanting bridge creating favorable conditions for monkeys to climb down to get food. The farmer learned about the characteristics and food that monkeys often look for, which is bananas. So they put ripe bananas in the trap. After completing the preparation of the trap, they will wait for the monkey to enter the trap. Regularly check traps to make sure they are installed correctly. The inclined bridge is the way for monkeys to go down. If the number of monkeys on the bridge is 4 to 5, they will automatically collapse. Are you curious about how Thai people set manual traps, and can that manual trap catch monkeys? I was surprised at the manual trap setting process because the trapping process requires patience. Setting manual traps is a long-standing Thai tradition in dealing with invasive monkey species. Thai people have created handmade traps based on the practical experience and knowledge of hunters. Using simple materials like wood, rope, and other natural materials they create flexible traps that can adapt to the environment. However, this type of trap has a disadvantage it will be damaged when exposed to bad weather or damaged by animals larger than monkeys. A large number of people support trapping to control the monkey population as not only an effective method but also a humane way to minimize harm to them compared to hunting. Traps for monkeys do not cause the pain and fear that occurs when they are stunned, but instead allow them to be safely collected and moved to new environments. There are many reasons for using traps instead of hunting. First, this method helps maintain natural balance and protect other species in the ecosystem. Second, monkey traps do not cause unwanted harm to humans, especially in urban areas. Finally, the use of traps placed in the city has proven effective reducing the number of monkeys significantly each year. According to annual reports, the use of traps has helped reduce monkey numbers in urban areas by 20% to 30% each year, while also facilitating emergency management and species conservation. Do you think like me monkeys encroaching on the city greatly impacts the environment? Especially street pollution. Because they pick up bat food on the street and rummage around the city. When I witnessed this scene I was no longer impressed that they were an intelligent species. After watching the video do you see which trap method is the most effective? I find that the method of trapping iron cages with large areas helps catch many invasive monkeys. If governments cooperate with people in dealing with this intelligent invasive species, it will be very good. Both create connections and support the process of quickly coping and controlling. Comment number one if you think trapping is the best method. Comment zero if you think the sterilization method is effective but hurts them. Thank you for watching the entire video. Click the like button and subscribe to the channel so we can be motivated to produce new videos on how to deal with this invasive species.
Hawks are now becoming one of the birds that threatens the ecosystem in the UK. The often attacked the feathers of Canada geese and create fear in wild rabbit. Every time Hawks appears, these creatures always face potential danger. The numbers of wild rabbits and Canada geese have decreased greatly since their introduction. This situation is reminiscent of the need to protect the natural balance and biodiversity in the UK's natural environment. This poses an important challenge in managing and protecting birds of prey, such as hogs, and at the same time maintaining the balance between species in the country's ecosystem. Hawks are a special bird in the UK, strictly protected and not allowed to be hunted. This history of hawks in Britain is truly a species conservation success story. Through decades of resistance in the 1950s and 1960s, hawks were almost completely exterminated due to the use of pesticides. However, thanks to a focus on conservation and a strong legal regime, hawks have had a chance to recover. Now, they are considered a precious species and are protected to ensure the survival of the species. Regulations and laws in the UK have established a mechanism to protect hawks from hunting, while ensuring strict controls on the conservation and protection of these birds. Crows are one of the noisiest animals. They also bring terrible fear to people. Passersby told of crow attacks, making them very scared every time they pass through areas where crows live. Even small animals like squirrels and wild rabbits must be careful because crows have a habit of attacking and eating raw meat from these small animals. The noisy and ferocious presence of crows creates an atmosphere of fear in the community, causing people to always be more vigilant and finding ways to protect themselves from unwanted attacks from these animals. To control crow populations, many countries, including the UK, have introduced licensing hunting of crows. Currently, the regulation of crow hunting in the UK is regulated by the Department of Agriculture, Food and the Environment. To be licensed to hunt crows, people need to participate in training courses on crow hunting and comply with safety regulations. Experts say that moderate hunting of crows can help control the crow population and prevent their negative impacts on the environment. However, this measure needs to be implemented carefully to limit negative impacts on other animals and the ecosystem. According to a report by the UK Wildlife Conservation Society, RSPB, Every year, between 40,000 and 60,000 crows are hunted in the UK. This number has decreased from 70,000 in 2010. Eagles are also one of the scariest birds. There have been open-air sheep farms attacked by eagles. This mother sheep about to give birth was injured by an eagle attack. When the owner found out, the lambs didn't serve. He discovered through the camera that the eagle had attacked and kidnapped the lamb. 
On some other farms, sheep were also attacked by eagles. They were seriously injured and were rescued promptly. Even wild animals, like rabbits, are being targeted as well. Eagles are often protected by conservation and environmental regulations in many countries because they are rare animals and important in maintaining ecological balance. Hunting or harming birds of prey is a violation of the law and may result in criminal prosecution. Strict monitoring and management of eagle hunting is necessary to ensure conservation and protect eagle species from extinction. Farmers need to manage and monitor their flocks well to ensure they are not attacked by these birds again. This rock pigeon has created a very serious pollution situation in the city. Their waste is spread everywhere, making the city's green space dirt. Even on newly sown fields, they came and ate everything. This has spread fear among the UK population. To cope with this situation, people have taken emergency measures, trying to control and minimize the negative impacts of rock pigeons in their habitat. Pigeon hunting in the UK is subject to a number of specific rules. The time for this hunting activity usually takes place from July to October. To carry out this activity, participants can only use permitted weapons, including rifles, shotguns, and slingshots. Additionally, Pigeon hunting may only be carried out in permitted areas, such as agricultural areas, forests, and designated areas. We should not forget that pigeon hunting needs to be carried out in a considered and a reasonable manner. Experts say that moderate hunting can help control pigeon populations and prevent their negative impacts on the environment. However, other animals and natural ecosystem. If the problem of these invasive species occurs at a normal rate, you should treat it with other measures, such as repelling them. As this measure will not hurt them or any other animals. Thank you for watching this video till here, and let's continue watching the rest of the video. Iguanas are native to Central and South America, and they came to Florida as much loved and sought after pet. However, they were released into the wild. They did terrible things that made Florida farmers very worried. To control iguanas and reduce their impact, a new method has been used with remarkable success. Fishing poles with ropes. This method is simple and effective. Farmers and others involved in iguana control use fishing poles with long lines. Capture results have been truly impressive with tens of thousands of iguanas captured each year. According to information from the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Mission, this measure has helped minimizing the damage caused by iguanas to the ecosystem and economy. Using a fishing rod with a rope has many advantages. First of all, it is simple and easy to do, even for those without experience.
This creates favorable conditions for many people to participate in the iguana control process. In addition, this measure can be applied in many different locations, including hard-to-reach areas, helping to expand the scope of control. However, it should be noted that this method can only catch a certain number of iguanas and is potentially dangerous to humans if not done carefully. Overall, even though the use of fishing poles has contributed significantly to controlling invasive iguanas in Florida and minimizing their impact on the region and environment and economy, the dogs are trained to detect the iguana's scent, and their task is chase and control the iguana when detected. This has become an effective method of controlling invasive iguanas in Florida. After the dog trainer approached and caught the iguana, the results obtained were of great significance. The Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission has noted that iguana hunting has resulted in the capture of thousands of iguanas each year, making an important contribution to the region's environmental and economic well-being. This measure has many advantages. First, it can be used in a variety of terrains, including hard-to-reach areas. This makes it a versatile tool in controlling iguana statewide. Second, this measure doesn't limit the age or size of the iguana. Whether the iguana is an adult or a juvenile, large or small, hunting dogs are still capable of controlling them. However, it should also be noted that this measure is indispensable without careful preparation. Do it safely and effectively. Well-trained dogs are needed. Furthermore, implementing the method of hunting dogs to catch iguanas also requires care, because if not done properly, it can be dangerous to humans and other animals in the environment. This places an important requirement on ensuring that the process is carried out by people with the experience and training. The iguana hunting in Florida has proven effective in controlling iguana populations. However, there are still limitations that need to be considered. The effectiveness of iguana hunting has been documented by the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission through the capture of hundreds of thousands of iguanas each year. This has had a positive impact on controlling the invasive iguana population in Florida. The main reason for this effect lies in the biological aspect when hunting measures directly affect the number of individuals in the iguana population.
as iguana numbers decline, competitive pressure between them and native animals decreases, while minimizing damage to the ecosystem and economy. However, iguana hunting also has some notable limitations. One of the important limitations is that this measure not only affects a small part of the iguana population, not achieving a significant level of control. Furthermore, it has the potential to pose a risk to humans and other wildlife species, especially when proper regulations and safety procedures are not followed. With the goal of improving the control of the iguana populations and minimizing the invasion of this species, research and implementation of a variety of control measures, which may include a combination of hunting and other methods, is an important part of the ecosystem management and conservation in Florida. We do not recommend that you completely use the method of hunting iguanas because this method can cause pain to the iguanas. Other measures should be used to ensure that they are treated humanly. You can find the burrows, the dig and catch them directly by hand. Catching iguanas by hand will be an interesting experience for iguana hunters. Iguana eat agricultural products, attack and eat livestock. The holes they dig can be up to 80 feet long, threatening ecosystems. These measures have greatly reduced the iguana population. And lastly, don't forget to let us know your own experience if you have ever faced any of these invasive species around your area. So where since you these solutions have been affecting and preventing population. the growth of colonies of some invasive species, do you believe in any other better solution? If so, please, please don't forget to share your comments ideas. and opinions down and below. Plus, don't forget to share, to like, and subscribe to support our channel with our upcoming videos. And lastly, don't forget to share this video with all your friends so that they can watch it and enjoy it as well.